Understanding Reliability 3.0 is about moving away from the discrete activity mindset of today. It's really about understanding how reliability activities are connected to each other, and more importantly, what can be leveraged from each activity and how. The reliability engineering body of knowledge includes a host of activities and an equally vexing set of acronyms. We perform Weibel analyses. We build reliability block diagrams. We create fault trees. We complete design and process FMEAs, perform accelerated testing, reliability growth, and the list goes on. To better understand the whole, let's group these activities together and take a look at what we'll call the Reliability Engineering Activity Pie. Here we have our procedural and inductive analysis piece, such as your FMEAs, the data analysis piece with your Weibels, ALTs, and so forth, then your system modeling piece with the RBDs, fault trees, etc., your predictions analyses, and lastly, your data collection and failure reporting systems. Each one of these activities has valuable information that can be contributed and used by other activities. As we go through them one by one to understand what the specific activities can contribute to each other, we also understand what each activity can leverage or benefit from the other activities. As we go through the whole exercise, the activity pie view transforms itself to a set of connected and interdependent activities continuously feeding from each other in a self-improving process. This connected process is what we're calling Reliability 3.0. As Reliability Engineering evolved over the years, we have done a great job at perfecting and optimizing each individual activity and maximizing its return on investment. We have, however, reached a point where there is not much more that we can squeeze out of each individual activity. To get to the next level, we need to start looking at the activities as a whole and at our return on investment as coming from leveraging related activities. This not only eliminates unnecessary redundancy and work duplication, it also leads to streamlined process with better information at each step, resulting in a continuously self-improving process that provides for both better results as well as cost savings. Getting there is not that trivial. While understanding and accepting the what's, what each activity needs to receive and provide to each other is fairly straightforward. The how is a lot more complex. We spent the last seven years looking at the house, and the result of that R&D is our new synthesis platform, built to enable Reliability 3.0. I hope you join me in one of my many presentations throughout the country for a more in-depth view of the what's and the house of Reliability 3.0. See you then.